What do you call him? Mantar? Mantar, that's right. When I was like 10, 11 years old, a mad dog Bashan was uh, my neighbor who lived just two blocks over the hill. My dad was a mailman. He used to give my dad free tickets to the show at the Civic Auditorium. And, and then after the first match, my dad would take me down to the curtain. And the very first person he introduces me to is Andre the Giant. And I broke into business in the CWA in the early 90s. My first match was the championship over there. And I ended up staying because the boss seen my ability so I got to start training with Owen Hart and Chris Benoit and Dave Fitz Finley. I wrestled Owen Hart and Chris Benoit in singles matches two or three times a week. Dave Finley and myself, we would wrestle tag team against uh, Owen and Chris. Owen Hart is the nicest guy that I know. Dean and his brother Jody and his dad Larry, they taught me how to wrestle. You know, I'm very fortunate God has blessed me with a great set of parents who have always provided me with everything that I've needed no matter how much overtime they had to work. You know, my parents, my dad was a postman, my mom worked at the telephone company. But I'm really grateful, you know, for my mom and dad. I just lost my mom in October, by the way. It's been really devastating. But without my parents in my corner to push me to be the best I could be no matter what, I would have never came close to accomplishing the things I have in my life. So, Mom and Dad, I love you. My daughter is my hero. I am such a proud father. When it first started out, you know, Vince, he had this crazy idea because Big Ben Bader uh, was on WCW at the time. And he wanted to create another big monster character like Big Ben Bader. And so he wanted to, um, have me come out with a bullhead that was supposed to be, you know, shooting fire, shooting smoke out of its nose, and he wanted to take it off and make a big spectacle out of it. You know, unfortunately for me, you know, I had to wear that bullhead, but that bullhead definitely doesn't define the wrestler and the person that I am, because, you know what, I've been a wrestler for life. You know, Bret Hart called me on the phone. I was over in Europe wrestling for the CWA. And he says, uh, I want to bring you over to the States to do this South Africa Truth Commission game. Representing the Truth Commission, weighing 401 pounds, Terrence Tank. You know, the first experience with Mantar and even the second, you know, with Tank from the Truth Commission, I went back to Europe. I was much happier over there. You know, a lot of the guys in the WWE and the WCW, they've all over wrestled for Otto Vaughn. Again, he just passed away. Rest in peace, Big Otto. Thank you for the opportunity that you gave me, man. I really appreciate it. It uh, helped me make the man I am today. He's a ah! 180 kilos, all USA. So take a good look because I'm here to collect another first place trophy. You only die once, but you live every day. So go out there and have fun and enjoy life, everybody. Peace out.